Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. In today's video, we're doing a full body workout in the garage. You don't need any weights for this thing. The only thing I'm gonna be using is a pull-up bar. It's gonna be a simple workout, effective, simple but effective. And this is a tough one, but it's not that long. It's only probably gonna take 15 minutes, 20 at the most. We're gonna do three moves. We're gonna do a pull move, a leg move, and a push move. Three moves, three rounds. That's it, nine sets. So I did a warm up, I'm about to get started right here. So make sure if you're gonna do this video, pause the video and make sure you warm up, get the blood flowing, stretch out a little bit, and make sure you do a cool down and do plenty of stretching afterwards as well. So I'm ready, I'm warmed up, ready to go. We're gonna start with a pull up bar, get your pull up bar. If you can't do pull ups, you can do assisted pull ups. You can get a band to stand on, they're very cheap. And, uh, support some of your weight so you stand on the band and it will support some of your of your weight for the pull-ups you could also stand on a chair and do just the negative part of the pull-up where you jump up and let yourself down so you can work on that until you build strength uh, maybe you need to lose some body fat so you can do uh, pull-ups that are unassisted so good way to start that out but anyways i'm doing regular pull-ups we're starting with overhand grip we're doing just a set i'm gonna be going pretty hard here uh, see how many i can do so we'll see how it goes Okay, not bad. How was your pull-ups? Take a little breather, take a little break, and we'll be moving on to a leg move. The first leg move are gonna be squats. Squats are a little easy with no weight. So we're gonna make these jump squats. Get up in the air if you can. Your knees are good, if not, you can just do regular squats. You have to do a lot for this to be effective. Or you can grab a weight if you'd like, if you want to do some, some weighted squats. We're just going to get airborne on these. No weight. All right, here we go. Squat time. It is cold outside here in Bend, Oregon. November hit. Yeah, it was snow. Well, that's why I'm working on in here. It is below freezing. Pretty chilly in the garage, but warming up quick here. Anyone watching, where are you from? How's the weather? We're in November here. We're hitting the ski mountain next month. All right, next move, we're doing push-ups. Standard push-ups. If you need to, you can go to your knees. Get good at those. And then uh, 
Once you get good at push-ups on your knees, start doing the regular ones. Full range of motion, going down, touching the floor, coming up, locked out arms. All right, here we go. Push-ups. Two more rounds, similar, but slight variations. We're gonna go back to the pull-up bar now, but we're gonna do underhand grip instead of overhand. This gets the biceps a little more involved. No need for weights, in my opinion. So, with the pull-up bar, get your band, chair, whatever you need. Maybe do a set, take a quick breather, and do, do some more. Let's we'll see what we can do here. All right, chin, uh, chin ups, here we go. here. You can just do lunges. That's going to be pretty easy. I'm going to do jump lunges. So if your knees are up to it, you can jump back and forth. Other option is you can grab a weight and just do regular lunges. We're doing the jumping variety here. So Let's keep going lunges, here we go.
the cardio going. Two. Okay, come on back to push. Push ups. Variation this time. Hands together. Triangle push ups. Put your knees if you need to. Quick little breather here. By the way, do you do your workouts fasted or do you eat before your workout? I recommend doing them fasted. You don't need to eat before a workout. It's better to have the stomach cleared out. You don't want to be digesting food when you're trying to work out. You want blood to go other places, not your stomach. Okay. Push up time. Hands together. Take 10 seconds and do chin ups. Here we go. So 
So, for this set of legs, we're doing a lunge, squat, lunge. Now, if you can jump, jump through these. It's a little harder. If you're too beat for that, then you can just step or skip. We're gonna start off getting airborne on these, jumping in the air, getting the feet off the ground. Lunge, squat, lunge. Once I get too tired, I'll probably go to step. So that's how we're gonna do this. All right, let's get, get in position. Lunge. Squat, lunge. Squat, lunge. what you can do. You can do push-ups on your knees if you need to. I'll be doing going down to a push-up, touching my knee to my elbow, then going up. Coming down to a push-up, other knee, other elbow. So yes, these are knee to elbow push-ups. I don't know what they're called. But they're my favorite. Normally I would do these on the first set, but I saved him for the third set instead. All right, last set of the workout here. Knee to elbow push-ups, or just regular push-ups, whatever you can do. Thumbs up if you like it. Let me know in your comments what kind of workouts you like to do. You like these kind of workouts? Let me know. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.